제 259회 마음에 드세요. 안녕하세요. Hello everyone. How are you guys? We're going to have a pretty fun lesson here today because the dialogue's pretty simple finally. So these dialogues have been pretty long and difficult. So we're going to have a little break today. I'm Lisa Kelly, your host, and sitting beside me is Yeah, we've still got some of those tough verbs because they got so many meanings like Deda. What, yeah. what is this, this thing? The all purpose verb is Deda. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to figure out the usage. Anyway, I'm Stephen Revere. Annyeonghaseyo, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to help you out figuring out how to use this J Da verb that they have here. And two students are along with us. Yeah, hi, mm. Stephen. Hi, Lisa. Hi, all foreigners who are studying Korean language, and hi, yeah. all Koreans who are living in Ukraine. My name is Marina. Nice to see you again. Mm. 네, 여러분, 안녕하십니까? Nice to see you again. And Let's learn Korean together with Lisa and Steven. Oh, yeah. oh how sweet. <laughs> All right, well, we've got a pretty fun lesson packed, so let's go ahead and start. Here is our lesson for today. Wrap it up with Lisa and Steven. 다 됐습니다. 마음에 드세요? 네, 예쁘게 됐네요. 드라이는 서비스로 해드릴게요. 네, 고맙습니다. <웃음> okay, here's an expression you may hear, not just in the Myeongshi, the beauty salon, but uh, recently I got my watch fixed and they uh, gave it to me after it was repaired. Oh, do you like it? Is it okay? Is it to your liking? Or when you get your nails done, mm -hmm. the lady goes, oh, do you like it? So anything personal, when they ask you, oh, is it to your liking? Mm -hmm. They can use this line, right? 다 됐습니다. 마음에 드세요. It's all done. Do you like it? 다 됐습니다 is we're all finished here. All 다 됐습니다. Okay? And then we have 마음에 드세요. Originally, it's 마음에 들다, but that's an irregular lil verb, and when it comes before a vowel like this, it becomes 드세요, okay, originally. Yeah. Will you take a sip out of this? Just take a sip. Oh, you want? Go ahead. 마음에 드세요? Is it pretty good? 너무 달아요. It's a little sweet, but yeah, 마음에 안 들어요. That's how you use it. Anyway, yes, 마음에 들다 is to like something, to enjoy something. So, you have to say, when you're talking about yourself, you say, oh, 마음에 들어요. When you're asking someone else, you say, 마음에 드세요, just like Lisa just did. 다 됐습니다. 마음에 드세요. 다 됐습니다. 마음에 드세요. 다 됐습니다. 마음에 드세요. 네, 예쁘게 됐네요. Oh, it ended up, or it was completed very prettily. In other words, I like it, it's very pretty. That ge on the end there, huh? Yepuda is the original verb stem. Yep is the original verb stem. And then you have ge added on to the end. That's why Lisa said prettily, right? Prettily. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> the literal translation Literally. would be prettily. It doesn't mean anything. Normally in English we don't say that, of course, but that's just like an L-Y. Aramdapge, beautifully, right? Okay, in this case, yepuge. Prettily is what they're saying, and then yep, denne and tweta. Once again, it pops up here again. It's to become, right? To have been changed in some way. When there's a change, quite often they'll use this verb, and here they use it in the past tense. Oh, denneo, it changed very nicely. I really like the new. What you've done with it, and what are you doing? Oh, with I'm that? gonna take a picture of our students. Yepuge usa boseo. Huh? Okay. All right. <laughs> I use the L Y form again. Mm. 예쁘게. Okay, 웃으세요. Try smiling very prettily. Let's try saying this. 예쁘게 됐네요. It ended up really pretty. Mm. 예쁘게 됐네요. Mm. 예쁘게 됐네요. Mm. Yeah, I kind of like my hair today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the Myung says, says the beautician of the salon uh, lady says, 드라이는 서비스로 해드릴게요. I really like this, this line because we get to learn so much in one line. We've got two Konglish expressions as well. Dry. Okay, what does it sound like? A dry. dry. Mm -hmm. You get your hair blow-dried, okay? A blow-dry is called 
Terai, and then Sobisu. We've learned this many times Sorry, before. It just it's on the house. It's for free. So I guess I'm gonna get a, a, bl a free blow dry or my hair <laughs> blow dried for free. Mm, yeah, this service is a dry. Of course, that makes sense. We we use it in the same way. However, service ro he drikkeo. That's a that's a very different way of using the word service that we're from what we're familiar with. Right when you say service ro he drikkeo, it means it's on the house. It's for free. Oh, service hey to say all means oh give me some free stuff. Yeah. <laughs> give it to me free, right? I, I just realized that a guy wouldn't understand also dry. This is there's a difference also. Body malya to say is to actually dry it in English. When we say dry it to say it doesn't mean to dry it. Really? It means yeah, blow drying it, but not to dry, but to style it. So, ah, I think you mentioned ah, that. Okay, my hair is blow dried. Okay, in Korean, dry hesse on there. They fixed my hair. Dry service ro hedo an. I just want to go. So I just realized the difference for a guy and a girl. Okay, so we're getting our hair styled as. Yeah. Yeah, she it. leaves. Of course, Lisa wants to hang out and get styled, and I want to get out of there. Right. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Let's try repeating this. Dryen sobisuro hetrilkeo. Dryen sobisuro hetrilkeo. Dryen sobisuro hetrilkeo. Ne, kwasmida. That's the line. Okay. Ne, <laughs> kwasmida. Everyone knows that means thank you very much. All right. We've got lots more to cover, so let's go on to Korean insight. Korean insight. Did you guys hear? Did you hear? Did you hear the story? Oh my goodness! Oh no! Yeah, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. It's true. Oh no! 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 It's okay for her to say oh no! 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 But it's not okay for you or me to say oh no! 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 You understand? We have something in common. We're both men. Men do not run around saying, "Oh, when did he knee?" <laughs> or, oh, oh, "Oh, oh, oh, oh," but because that's strictly a, a woman's uh, phrase. That's you... right. There are certain phrases that are more feminine or masculine. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Oh, the coming to it. This is another way you'd use it too. By the way, I just yeah. broke my glass. Uh, oh well, no! She's the getting kid. violent. I just over broke it. Oh, yeah. oh no! Anyway, there's oh. another. There's another. Oh my! Is another phrase that men want to avoid. Okay, when you're surprised by something, and Lisa just surprised herself. Oh my! She broke her glass. Yes. Why are you getting violent? Lisa? I wasn't. It was these cute cards. I didn't do. Oh. Trust me, she's scary, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, let's go to Stephen to review over our lesson today while I try to glue mm. back my cup. When you yeah. want to ask somebody if they like something, how do you ask? You say, Maome duseo, right? Do you like it? If you like it, what do you say? You say, Maome duroyo, right? I like it. And then we have, Yippege, prettily, aramdapge, beautifully. Remember that ge is an ly, add that on, on the end of uh, adverbs, adjectives there. And then, then we have, denneo, showing surprise, and then, Dry, which is dry and styling, as Lisa so appropriately appropriately explained, and service role means free service role. Hmm. 다 됐어요? 다 됐어요. <laughs> 다 됐습니다. Okay, 마음에 드세요? If not yet, we still got a little more of our uh, lesson today. Mm. <laughs> Just keep looking at this broken glass. <laughs> All right, check out our lesson for today. 다 됐습니다. 마음에 드세요? 네, 예쁘게 됐네요. 드라이는 서비스로 해드릴게요. 네, 고맙습니다. <웃음> All right, it's time to end our lesson, and Manu and Marina are going to uh, simulate our situation for us today, so we can 확인해 with our eyes. Are you guys ready? 다 됐습니다. 마음에 드세요? 어머나. <laughs> yes, uh, being very sarcastic, she is. Okay, that wasn't exactly how the dialogue was. She says, uh, once again, and it's all done. And she fixed her hair up already. Two oh, seconds. That's nice. Okay, for her to say goodbye. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye, ladies. Bye bye. bye. bye.